children, it may seem a little heavy and a little sad to realize that we do not one, but two Requiem Masses in a row this week. One for, of course, one with the passing of Bishop Dolman, and secondarily, today, we make up for yesterday where we were supposed to do the Purgatorial Society. But it's important for us to realize that just because the, black, the, the vestments are black and the tone of, this, of the chanting is somber and the prayers are, are somber, doesn't mean that it really is all that sad. Because the reason why we do the Purgatorial Society Mass is important for all of us to remember. Because it is, in reality, a joining together with our family, our fellow members of the mystical body of Christ. You see, we, the mystical body of Christ, are made up of three groups. One is the church militant, that's us, the ones who are still alive. We still have to do our work to try to save our souls, to get ourselves to heaven. But there are two other groups, two other members of the same body of Christ. The church triumphant, which is the souls in heaven. These are the saints, and these are those who haven't been canonized saints, but who have already made it to heaven, and we just want to know until we get there ourselves. And then the church suffering, that is the souls of purgatory. Those are the people who died, and they were in the state of grace, but had a little bit more work to get the stains of sin off of their souls to be done, and so they pray and they suffer there in purgatory. And we're all united together as one, one mystical body of Christ. And for us here, it's, it's a, a unity, we have to remember, it's a unity of prayer. When we think about the saints in heaven, we think about how we pray to them and ask them to pray for us. And those saints, they do exactly that. They're in heaven. They're standing right before Almighty God Himself. And so they hear our prayers and they turn around and they look at God and they ask Him for exactly what we've asked through them. They pray for us and they work for, for, to help us out in heaven and get us lots of graces and lots of divine assistance because their prayers are so much more perfect being that they are in heaven. And then we think of us the here on earth, it's easy for us to remember to pray for somebody in need, isn't it? When somebody comes to you and tells you they're sick, then you say a prayer for them. When they come and tell you that, they're, that they are trying to figure out a solution to a problem in their life, you pray for them. When you realize that you yourself need some, some help, some graces, you pray for yourself. When you see somebody in need of conversion or somebody in need of extra graces for a hard time, you say prayers for them. It's easy to remember because we see them right before us. And then there's the church suffering. We remember that it's our duty to pray for the souls of the faithful departed soon after they die. And because we're sad about it, and we think about it, and we miss that person, and so we say some prayers right then and there. But we don't actually know just how much prayers it takes to get that soul into heaven. It might be a couple, it might be a lot. And what is the tendency, because we don't see them any longer, is that it's easy to forget about them. And that is something that we can't do. Because they never forget about us. They keep praying for us, just like the saints in heaven do. They keep waiting their time when they know that they will enter into heaven one day. But they, though we can make that more speedy by keeping them in our prayers regularly. And so, because it's easy to sometimes forget as time passes on, we remember every month the souls of the faithful departed, of those who have been part of our parish here, of those who have been part of our extended mission, who have written in and requested to be part of the Purgatorial Society, people whom we have loved, people whom we have known, people whom we have even sometimes not liked all that much, but are still our fellow Catholics and our fellow members of the mystical body of Christ. And because of that, it is our duty to keep praying for them. And so every month, 
We take up the task to offer the Mass for them. Because we know that even though they, their names, their faces, may have in time sort of slipped from our mind, we are going to be faithful to pray for praying for them for all of our lives. And we do so by this very special monthly Mass. And so when you come this month, next month, and the month afterwards, and you think about the, pur- the souls in Purgatory as you pray here at the Purgatorial Society Mass. Remember, it's not just a generic prayer. It is for all of those who are our spiritual family, united with us, with Almighty God Himself. May God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.